Hello learners, I hope you are all doing well. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you about interior and exterior angles. This is next to our previous lesson on angle pairs. So if you're ready, let us now begin. At the end of this video, you will be able to deduce the relationship between the exterior angle and adjacent interior angle of a polygon. So first, let us have a review. Review natin yung mga angle pairs. Okay, so the first one is angle pairs which measures add up to 90 degrees. Anong angle pair ito class? Okay, correct. These are the complementary angles. Next one. How about angle pairs that measures add up to 180 degrees? Yes, they are the supplementary angles. Next one. They have a common side and a common vertex but do not overlap. Okay, we call them the adjacent angles. Next, these are angle pairs. They are opposite and they are made by two intersecting lines. Okay, they are called the vertical angles. Now, vertical angles is also what we call the congruent angles. Alright? And ano po ang nawawala sa ating mga angle pairs? Okay. How about the linear pair? Saan po natin ilalagay? Alright? So, linear pair is both supplementary angles and adjacent angles. Yun po yung ating linear pair. Okay, now let's proceed to the interior and exterior angles. But first, I'm going to show you this picture. This is a picture of an Ifugao traditional house. Now, the Ifugaos are the people in the province of Ifugao, in the Cordillera region, northern part ng ating bansa. They are one of the many tribes of Igorot found in the region. They are known for their rice terraces, yun, hagdang hagdang palayan, where they plant rice, no? And actually, this is recognized as one of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Aside from agriculture, there are many things the Ifugao are known for, like in the field of wood carving, uh, textile weaving, yung paggawa, paghabi ng kanilang mga damit, kasuotan, uh, cultural songs, even the resistance actually uh, from Spanish colonialisms, and other unique cultures. Same with other Igorot tribes no, as well. Uh, these are just a few things that makes us proud of our fellow countrymen like the Ifugawa, no? But today, I will just use the unique design of their traditional house, no? To introduce our lesson. Now, take note, this house is a traditional house. Historical siya, meaning ito yung mga sinaunang bahay nila noon. No? At hindi ngayon. Okay, so... If you look at this picture, we can see the intricacies, or intricate designs and architecture of the house. There are three major levels, no? yung ground floor here, where you can see the four post. Yan. Nakabaon yan sa lupa with wooden disc. Ito po yung mga wooden disc niya. What's the purpose of this circular or wooden disc? This is to prevent rats, mga daga, from entering the house. Now, the second level is the living area, no? which is accessible through yung removable ladder nila. Now, here, they all have their social affairs. Dito sila natutulog. They cook their food through their fireplace. They have a fireplace here. Yung third level naman, this serves as their storage area. Para siyang loft with shelves for their grains, nagiging granary or imbakan ng kanilang mga uh, pagkain and other things, no? There are many more details like the roofing, no? Yung mga gutter, uh, yung roofing niya made of kogon grass, no? Parlings and many more. Madami tayong pwedeng explore like asking the question, bakit yung, yung walls niya uh, slanting like this, no? Slant. Ano pa? Bakit uh, removable yung ladder? Uh, removable din ba yung buong bahay? Pwede bang mailipat-lipat ito? Bakit kogon grass yung bubong? Uh, paano ito nagwo-work? These are actually good questions for you to ask. no? And you can actually explore it on your own. 
in mas mas makikita nyo, mas ma-appreciate nyo yung talent and culture ng ating mga countrymen like the Ifugao. And I believe ganun din sa iba pang mga indigenous group of the Philippines. Okay? But for now, we will just focus, we will just look into the shape of its major structure. Kung titignan nyo itong major structure niya, in two-dimensional uh, two perspective, anong polygonal shape, anong polygon yung nakikita nyo dito sa ating uh, traditional house ng Ifugao? Okay. You can see a pentagon. All right. So dito tayo magfo-focus, no? The shape of this pentagon. Now, this is where we can start our discussion on interior and exterior angles. Now, interior angles, we already discussed this one before. And we already know that the interior angles are the angles inside a polygon. So these are our interior angles, as you can see there. We can name this using numbers. We can say angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4 and 5. Yan. Yan po yung mga interior angles natin. Now, how about the exterior angles? Where are the exterior angles? Basing from the word exterior, alam natin nasa labas siya, no? Pero, let's take a look. Ang exterior angle ba natin is yung buong angle na yan? Here, as you can see. Itong buong to ba ang exterior angle natin? Let's see. The exterior angles are actually... Yan. Yan po yung exterior angles natin. An exterior angle is formed when a side of a polygon is extended outward. So let's take a look at the other exterior angles. We have this exterior angle, this one, next. Yan po lahat yung mga exterior angles natin. Now, uh, you might be asking, eh, bakit ito yung na-extend? Why not the other side? Uh, pwede naman. Okay, we can actually use those. Let's see. Yan. Now, let's label these exterior angles. We have angle 6, angle 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so let's list them all here on the left side. So, 6, angle 7, angle 8, angle 9, and angle 10. Now, I want you to take a look at these angles and uh, let's pair them up together. So, angle 1 is paired up to angle 6. No? Ito. Angle 2 is paired up to angle 7. 3 and 8. 4 and 9. 5 and 10. Now, the question is, what type of angle pairs are these? Ayan. So, anong angle pair ang naaalala nyo? Now, I'll give you time to think. Pwede mong i-pause muna itong video and then play mo after answering my question. Okay, these are adjacent angles. As you can see, they have a common uh, common side, a common vertex, and they do not overlap. So, adjacent sila. Uh, in, in simpler words, they are next to each other. Magkatabi sila. Aside from being adjacent, ano pa yung napapansin nyo? What other angle pairs can you recognize from these pairings? Okay. Yes, they are also supplementary. Ibig sabihin, they create a straight line. If you add them together, they will form 180-degree angle. Now, if we have these two characteristics, uh, both of them, uh, they are both adjacent and supplementary, anong tawag na sa kanila? Okay. In short, we can call them linear pair. Because a linear pair are two angles that are adjacent and at the same time supplementary. So, itong mga pairings natin ng interior angle at saka exterior angle, they are what we call linear pair. Yun po yung relationship nila. Now, class, take note of these terms. No, Angle 6 here is called exterior angle and angle 1 here will be called the adjacent interior angle. Bakit? Kasi adjacent niya si 6 at siya ay isang interior angle. Now, to practice, let's have an exercise. Okay. First is, 
if angle 1 measures 70 degrees or we can say the measurement of angle 1 is equal to 70 degrees, what is the measure of its adjacent angle? That's our first question. Let's take a look at number 1. Okay, ito po yung ating angle 1. Now, if this is 70 degrees, ano kaya yung magiging measurement ni angle 6? Okay, remember class, that if we add this together, since they are supplementary, the answer will be 180 degrees. Okay? Because it's a straight line. Now, we know that angle 1, the measurement of angle 1 is 70 degrees from the given. Okay? Therefore, paano natin malalaman yung measurement ni angle 6? What operation are we going to use involving this 180 degrees and 70 degrees? Yes, correct. All we have to do is to subtract 180 minus uh, 70 degrees. Therefore, our answer is 110 degrees. Okay, now let's have number 2. It says here, if measurement of angle 2 is equal to 128 degrees, what will be the measurement of angle 7? So, andito po yung ating angle pair. No, we have the exterior angle 7 and the adjacent interior angle which is angle 2. Now, again, same process po siya. We know that if you add them together, it will be 180 degrees. So, all you have to do to get the missing angle is to subtract the given angle. So, again, uh, 128 po yung given which is angle 2. Now, let's find angle 7. You just subtract 128 from 180 degrees. Therefore, you will get angle 7. The measurement of angle 7 is 152 degrees. Now, in number 3, if the measurement of angle 3 is 113 degrees, what will be the measurement of angle 8? Okay. So, since these are supplementary angles, if you add them together, angle 3 and angle 8, it will be 180 degrees. Now, we know that angle 3 is given. The measurement is 113. Okay. Now, angle 8 is uh, missing. That's why all we have to do is to subtract 113 from 180. So, the, the answer will now be 180 minus 113. It's 167 degrees. Now, to further practice your skills, you can do this in a paper. Try to pause this video. You can answer this first and then you can come back so we can discuss the answers. Okay, let us now discuss the answers. Number one, if the measurement of angle 2 is equal to 45 degrees, what will be the measurement of angle 1? So, in our figure here, let's find out yung measurement ni angle 1 given that the measurement of angle 2 is 45 degrees. So, what is the relationship of these two angles? They are linear pair. Okay. So, just like our examples a while ago, you can just subtract from 180 yung ating given angle, which is angle 2, 45 degrees. So, 180 minus 45 degrees, we can get 135 degrees. Now, for number 2, if the measurement of angle 6 is 120, this angle, ito po. Now, what is the measure of its adjacent interior angle? The first question here is, alin dito sa 7 and 5 ang adjacent interior angle niya? Okay, correct. It should be angle 5 because angle 5 is nasa interior ng ating polygon which is a triangle. Yung angle 7, this is not an interior angle. Okay, so our solution, the measurement of angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees, which is the angle pair of angle 5. Therefore, our answer is 60 degrees. Now, for number 3, what is the measurement of angle 7? Okay, so kung hindi ito interior angle, Anong tawag natin sa angle 7? We can actually answer this in two ways. No? 
how to know the measurement of angle 7. We already know the measurement of angle 6, which is 120 degrees. So as you can see, they are also linear pair. Okay, ibig sabihin, they are supplementary. So again, you can subtract uh, the measurement of angle 6, which is 120, from 180, makukuha mo rin si angle 7. Pero yung pinakamadaling way para masagot tong question number 3 is to recall yung iba pa nating mga angle pairs. Which is, anong tawag natin dito? If two lines intersect and we have an opposite angles to each other, we call them? Yes, we call them vertical angles. And we know that a vertical angle... Uh, vertical angles has similar or same or equal measures. So, kung si angle 5 ay 60 degrees, therefore, si angle 7 din ay 60 degrees. Alright, now let's have number 4. What is the measurement of angle 3? Ito po. No? Now, as you can see, wala nang ibang given. Hindi naman sinabi kung anong measurement ni angle 4. What can be our solution here? Okay. Ito, kailangan nating balikan ulit yung mga previous activity and lesson natin. Now, if you recall, the sum of interior angle of a triangle, ano po ang kanyang measurement? Okay. Yes, if we're going to add all these three interior angles, we have angle 3, angle 2, and angle 5 we will get 180 degrees because that is the sum of interior angles of a triangle. Kahit anong klaseng triangle po yan, kahit right, angle, uh, right triangle, equilateral, or scalene, it will always be 180 degrees. Now, since we already know the measurement of angle 2, even siya dito, 45 degrees, at alam natin yung measurement ni angle 5 na sagot na natin dito which is 60 degrees. How will we know the measurement of angle 3? Okay. So first, here we can have 45 and 60. Pwede nating i-add tong dalawang to. It will give us 105. And then yung 105 isusubtract natin sa sum ng 180. Therefore, we can now get the measurement of angle 3, which is 75 degrees. Okay? So, yun po yung mga sagot sa ating activity. I hope you learned something. And uh, for our next lesson, we will explore the measures of angles and numbers of sides of polygon. We will find out kung ano yung formula in getting the sum of interior angles ng kahit anong polygon. And then we can now solve a problem wherein missing yung mga angles ng mga polygons natin. So I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Kung meron kang natutunan sa video na ito, please click the subscribe button to support this channel. At para mas matulungan ulit kita sa mga susunod mo pang math lessons. Lagi mong tatandaan, ang mat ay para sa lahat. At ako si Teacher Van, nagsasabing dito sa mat isip, lamang ang nag-iisip. God bless and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.